Hi guys, Michael here. So today I want to talk to you about removing DRM protection from the cover books. I know some of you have asked for that, so let's get started. So first of all, you'd need three applications to download. The first application, it's a well-known ebook application called Calibre. Um, so personally, I use Windows, so I would download Calibre first. It's something around 60 megabytes file, so it will take a, a minute or so depending on your bandwidth. Uh, but once that's downloaded, we'll just go through the process of installation quickly. So generally, I used to change the directory of my applications. I have a separate folder for that. So if you're also doing that, just yeah, make sure that you create a new folder um, called Calibre and you add the application up there. Choose the default settings and go to next and let the application be installed. Um, so this is the first application. You can open it straight away um, and keep it um, keep it in the taskbar. Um, also, you may have two or three steps to set up. So just choose the ebook reader that you're using. Personally, I use Kindle, and so I select that. Um, you can also connect your Kindle account if you wish so, but I didn't do it. Just skip to the next step. And then you will see like a quick start guide so you can remove it. And then the second application, it's called Adobe Digital Editions. Um, so again, this is a small uh, application that allows to open uh, the DRM uh, protection files, Adobe DRM to be specific. So I download the Windows file. It's something around six megabytes. Um, again, I changed the directory and download this for you. So in some cases, you may be asked to install the net framework and that will be an extra five minutes and it's really easy to set up. So I skip that process and once that's installed, the installation of Adobe Digital Editions is very smooth um, and then automatically it should open after a minute or so. So this is how it looks like. And then we're jumping straight away into the third application, which is called EPUB DRM uh, Removal. Um, a small five and a half megabytes application. So just press on download for Windows um, and install that application. This is a paid application. However, it allows you to um, remove the Adobe DRM protection on 10 books. So for 10 books, you should have no problem removing the protection. So again, if you're downloading it into a separate file directory, if you didn't use the default program files, go ahead and change that and then just launch the, the application itself. And as you can see that, that this is a demo version with 10 uh, removal DRM removals available for you. So once you have that, um, you can basically go to the Kobo website and look for the book. So probably you have something downloaded that has the Adobe DRM protection. Personally, I've chosen the Jules Verne book that has the Adobe DRM protection. It's a free book. Um, so what you basically do once you have such a book, just add it to your books, purchase it wherever, and then go to your library or my books. Once you have your book there, just select and download the book onto your PC. Okay. It will be in this kind of a strange format. So once you press and download file, it will download as ACSM, which is completely fine. And you can drag and drop it into the Adobe Digital Editions. 
Uh, don't create any Adobe ID logins or anything like that. Just select to authorize this computer as a vendor or without the vendor ID. This will be completely fine and after a minute or so uh, the book will show up in there. So once it's loaded, just go back to EPUB DRM protection removal application. So we're going there and press on digital editions in the top left corner. It will load the book that you had in the previous application and then select it and press on convert. It will take a minute or so and you will see the file converted. It will also give you the directory where the file is. And this is it. It will load it automatically. So you can see we have the EPUB that's actually already uh, converted and the DRM protection is removed. So you can even open it in the web browser and see that it's opening up completely fine, which is perfect. So what we do next is we open Calibre and drag and drop this EPUB file into Calibre. So Calibre allows us to convert files into different formats like PDF, MOBI, anything you like. So what do I do here? Because I use Kindle, um, I generally will be converting that into MOBI file. Um, so just in the middle, at the top, just select the option to convert books. So this is loading up perfectly fine, as you can see. Normally, the DRM protection would allow me to load it into Calibre. So here I just press on Convert Book. I would choose in the top right corner Output Format to MOBI. And also, just for formatting purposes, I select Not to Add Table of Content. Usually that messes up the book, so I don't add it. And then press on um, convert and this process, process takes a couple of minutes depending on your, this pa how powerful your laptop or PC is. For me it took me around maybe seven minutes so I sped it up a little and you can right click on the book or you can filter it through, through the MOBI files and then right click and open containing folder. So this will give you straight away the folder where this uh, MOBI file is located, which is perfect for us. And that's it guys. Um, you can see the EPUB and MOBI file together, so you can do with them wherever you want and use it on any devices. Please share, subscribe and like. Cheers, thank you.